Hello Taurus, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the weekend of April, Friday, April 22nd of 2022 spiritual guidance reading. I'm going to try and make these readings quick because I'm trying to catch up on my personal readings. So I thought I'll just kind of explain the cards as I lay them. Let me know what you think um, or if you'd still like me to talk about what each card represents in combination to others and so on. All right, overall message, please. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels for the weekend for Taurus. All right, so at the beginning of the weekend, we have a Taurus here who may be thinking about making changes in the area of home, updating the home, uh, cleaning out the home, right? Spring cleaning type energy. Um, there are some who, with the magnifying glass, will be researching uh, a new home. Thinking about uh, children, uh, a child. So looking closely at the area of home and family, thinking about maybe one's past or childhood, a child or children, and in the relationship sector tours, we have the fox. So the fox is representing um, someone in the relationship sector who is not being completely truthful and honest. In the creative aspects position, Spirit is offering this Taurus the book energy to research a situation and to wait for further clarity. It is time indeed to create a path of success. So what are you working on within the home regarding homes in general? Maybe you're moving to a new home because you're wanting to go into the direction of greater abundance at this time and you're thinking about that this weekend. Now we do have in the actions position, the snake. So when we have the fox and the snake showing up in the same reading, to me, there is definitely lies and deception here or an option to do so, some form of temptation. Emotionally, this Taurus is a bit confused here, but is definitely thinking about stability and security. So am I stable and secure maybe in my current home and family circumstances, be it financially or personally. So we have anxiety in the day-to-day -day aspects position, someone feeling a little bit anxious, being guided by spirit. If you are confused here emotionally to research something a little bit longer, watch for sly cunning relationships in the area of others here and or taking any actions of temptation. In the inner strengths position, spirit saying get clear with the wishing well energy as to what it is you are praying for and make sure that your actions are without fear or without uh, deception or some of you are confused because someone here should not be trusted or you meet someone like that this weekend. So in the first position, we have the flower energy spirit saying roll the dice and take a risk regarding kind words and messages. Spirit is listening to your prayers, like up here with the wishing well energy when the clock shows up. They're saying divine timing will bring you out of the state of confusion with the maze. Someone is thinking about a soul connection this weekend and hopes that there will be energies of devotion, but there is burden in the area of devotion with the cross. Okay, so we have setting goals and meeting goals when it comes to a more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation, waiting on clarity, waiting on an aha moment. Someone here is feeling stuck or trapped in their thoughts regarding this passionate masculine. Now, this could be you. There is someone here who is wanting to take action because of some form of communication uh, to hop, skip, and jump into this next chapter. But if you're feeling anxious, look a little bit closer. Eventually, uh, as you observe information here, you will feel much stronger and in fact will have the scythe energy to quickly and swiftly cut away from anyone who should not be trusted. Meetings and negotiations either have uh, transpired very well for those who've been researching something, practicing something within the home, starting a business at home, or just you know meeting up with family and friends this weekend and uh, recognizing what Spirit's trying to guide you towards here, which is the four-leaf clover. Spirit's trying to guide you into the direction of a blessed path, a path that is meant to be. 
So there's a little bit of indecision regarding someone who's either at a distance, meaning they're not living in your home environment with you day to day, or will be acting distant. That could be what this confusion is about. Should I or shouldn't I head into a new direction? Which path is the right one for me? Check this out. So spirit saying when it comes to this passionate feminine, someone whose heart is open, male or female, spirit sending in signs here over the weekend to guide you into the highest, best direction. Yeah, someone is feeling like their wishes are coming true as they connect out with community, society, social media, technology, wanting to go into the direction of obtaining some form of additional wisdom or knowledge. So I see money transpiring here for some and like there's this whole thought process of uh, should I move to a different location? And, you know, what am I creating for myself? And there just could be some fear and spirits saying, you know, focus on stability and security because spirits helping you to make those wishes come true. It's the anxiety and confusion that is slowing this process. So there's a lot here about getting to the truth of your circumstances. Some by the end of the weekend will be sweeping away from someone uh, whereby there is some form of attention and recognition and instead are going into the direction of uh, abundance, fulfillment, yeah, bringing something to an end after some form of conversation with a specific person and uh, moving into the direction of another. Now, I am feeling like there could be two people that you meet over the weekend, ironically, and that both of them are tests. Uh, spirits trying to help you to come to an aha moment about uh, the decisions that you've made and now how you have transformed with that coffin energy that we saw previously. Okay, so I'm going to bring in for confirmation and clarification the Gypsy Oracle deck. Confirmation and clarification regarding the circle spread we have previously discussed for this Taurus during the weekend of February, um, April, wow, April 22nd of 2022. So we have healing. Spirit saying, take some time within your house to learn how to create some quiet time, meditation. It is a time to heal. Look a little bit closer at someone in your thoughts position. For there could be someone here who is thinking about a child or children this weekend who is walking in their ego. There is going to be some form of time and effort put into a relationship or a service being provided or someone serving a situation uh, regarding another this weekend. But again, now we have the peacock and the fox. So spirit's advice, of course, is to heal and not serve connections that are walking in their ego this weekend. Instead, take action to create joyful offers and opportunities to get together with others this weekend. Because we have spirits saying your actions of overstepping these temptations will lead you into the direction of faithfulness. So that is diagonal with the wish card. Wish for faithfulness and stability and trust that spirit will bring someone your way. But of course, uh, someone can't come in if there's another one in your, another one's energy in your path with you. So spirit is saying uh, this confusion will just grow into energies of despair unless you heal and let your light shine. Get out and connect joyfully with others and trust that spirit is blessing you or will be blessing you with a faithful offer opportunity or connection so subconsciously we have i am bringing upon myself right with the full card stability and security but i will not serve the fox instead i will put my passionate energy into creating joyful connections with those i can trust this weekend And heal through this joyfulness, heal through new connections, heal through new directions. It is time for a new chapter, like we have with the book in the creative aspects position. In the subconscious position, we have the servant. So spirit is saying we're giving you the strength to heal yourself, to serve yourself by meditating, by praying to spirit for faithfulness, to bring you out of energies of despair, where maybe you were attracted in the past to someone who was walking in their ego. But now how you can put that passionate energy into practicing, learning, researching, cleaning the house, uh, moving to a new house, updating the house. Um, 
and recognizing that in the past with the faux card here, you know, we created, we allowed people to come into our journey. And at this point, we have uh, like this 5D energy of I am going to sit and observe before making a decision and know that whatever decision I make is the path I am creating for myself for the long term. So it's got to be good. Yeah, someone's researching a situation regarding a wife. Look at the love card is looking over at the faithfulness card. Someone wants love from the enemy. And then we have the home. So lies and deception in the area of home or family here or connection this weekend for some. Spirit is saying wait with the priest energy and sit and observe a situation before making any clear decisions. Gifts of pleasure seekers, joyfulness will come your way if you free your mind and allow a transformation so that you can go into a higher, better path. Someone spent some time alone here and you have learned and now someone's going to be coming towards you or you will be connecting with someone here who has the soldier energy of a cold closed off energy or a one night stand. So... A surprise realization that maybe someone needs to be put in the friend zone. Hoping for a message with the consolation energy that someone's going to kind of throw you a bone. Some form of temptation. Someone wants false uh, faithfulness from a, temp from a negative energy. A new beginning or, yeah, feeling trapped or stuck in the area of children, family, or a new beginning, feeling imprisoned to energies of misfortune, hoping for communication to heal you. So yeah, someone's allowing the thief to come in and do something and take from you in some way and then leave and steal your peace of mind. So there are endings in the area of commitments, partnerships, or contracts after a conversation with someone. Someone signing on saying, I learned the lesson and now I can replace energies of sorrow with cheerfulness. I can have hope and find contentment day to day with the melancholy energy and not continue to unite or reunite with those who put me in this constancy energy of stubbornness and frustration. Instead, I'm going to put my passionate energy into fortune and abundance, joy and happiness, healing and joyfulness. Again, if I'm feeling anxious as I connect with this lover energy, I need to give something some time uh, and not serve faithfulness to the snake oh my so i'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue for this taurus this weekend dear lord spirit guides and angels so four of abundance four of money uh, it is time indeed to reflect on your relationship with money for some tauruses are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly, right? Because when we do that, we actually repel abundance from coming in. And I think that's what Spirit's saying is as you heal and create change in your home environment or in your life in general, creating something that brings you joyfulness, researching and learning new things, you're going to be able to give more of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you, or, or are you holding back? If you're uh, focusing on work and creativity, know that your hard work and investments will definitely bring success. And we saw that fortune card recently, or just previously. So with the review and contemplation card, uh, the card says you've accomplished a great deal in your life. And I think that in the creative aspects position, that's what this joyfulness is about. What you create is not only helping you to heal, but it's helping you to come out of anxiety regarding the lover energy of passion. Spirit is offering you a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Cups. So this cherub is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience for some Tauruses this weekend is coming into your life. You may meet someone who makes your heart flutter or a current relationship will experience a reawakening. And then spend some time alone waiting for guidance from your angels. Don't put a lot of effort into someone that causes anxiety. Focus on, because for some, we have the guardian of thought here. Work, because you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for something that is close to your heart. 
In either case, your angels are going to give you the perfect words and you will handle all situations brilliantly if you uh, have healed from the past. Yep, it's time for a new emotional experience to be freed from the energies of falseness, mistrust, temptation. To put your, your heart into your stability and security knowing that a service here is going to make certain wishes of joyfulness come true for you creatively. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Thank you to those of you who have been attending the live noon uh, Zoom cast on Wednesdays and the live... Uh, youtube podcast noon on thursdays thank you for those donations take care and god bless